was a businessman before coming uh, into networking business. I was involved in the insurance businesses and logistics business. I've never seen myself doing network. I've never seen myself engaging into this business, but I got the invitation from my friend who was also my employee in my company. The reason why I started, it's because I saw a huge transformation in him. I saw the change of his mindset. I saw the belief he had on his dream, the vision he had, the courage and the faith of him changing his life. I've been through a lot of challenging moments, but I remember during the time of building my business, I saw my mom, she was a primary school teacher and she was retired. And after retired, she was super happy. She received her retirement pension. But unfortunately, when she received that money, she wasted all the money. She was cheated with people and she just invested in a wrong business. My mom, she called me and it was the first time I've ever had my mom, she was crying because she's a super strong woman. Then it's where I got the click, the realization. God has rewarded me the greatest business on my hand. And with this business, I can save my mom's life. Whenever I remember the commitment I gave to her, and she's my reason, I cannot stop. I have to keep moving forward. any great successful businessman or businesswoman or any great entrepreneur they have become successful through the mistakes so i have to master the mistakes of myself and to rectify them but moreover i have to learn the mistakes which other people have done and from those mistakes they rectified and they changed the game our plans they have been in this journey before us so are people who truly understood the journey who truly understood the do's and not's. So if we get to engage with them more often and give them the trust path, they can truly help us to reduce the mistakes. Before I attend the VCon, my appliance used to talk a lot about the VCon and they used to edify it a lot. So that VCon, it gave me the bigger picture, seeing many people, seeing all the successful people I used to hear about. It was just the energy from them. It was extremely the best energy. Seeing the company is not settling uh, and the company is it, it, it's itself, it's thinking on the best way on how to reach out, out to us, reach out to the network and to uplift all of us. They don't settle for the less. Despite, but you know, after what is happening around the world, many companies are not able to do things uh, and they just stopped and they did not adapt, adjust and accommodate. But I've seen this from our company and I've seen the way it has been stretching itself to make it possible for us. And I don't think if the learning is just ending from the VCon, the learning, is, it, it, it's the journey, continuation journey. And every single day we learn more. I believe there is no way I can be able to inspire them if I'm not going to break the limits. So I'm raising myself in terms of attitude, in terms of habits, in terms of financial, in terms of uh, expanding of the markets, in terms of value system in me and in them, in terms of success and in terms of everything. For me, it's just a uh, goes back to the basics to stand on, on the philosophy of being in service making sure they're earning good checks making sure they are doing the business in the right way with the right mindset by them doing the business with integrity 
by being truth to people, by practicing the professional networking so that we can be able to pass this gift to the next generation as our uplines did to us, as the founders did to us, as the V did to us.